So now I am going to take a little piece of tape and I'm actually going to use this as the guideline for my eyeshadow and I'm just going to angle it from the corner of my eye to the corner of my eyebrow. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette because it has a wide range of neutral shadows and I want them to be matte so this is like the perfect go-to palette for me. So you're going to need a soft matte brown that's going to work as a transitional color and this is the first color that I'm working with guys. I like to kind of start from the lightest to the darkest just because it's way easier when it comes to blending if you layer them in this manner. So now I'm going to switch to another brush and this one is smaller and denser and it's really going to pack a punch when I apply this dark matte brown in the outer corner and this is going to be concentrated mostly just on the crease and of course you have to blend it out so it's going to feather out a little bit but just make sure you keep the majority of this color on the outer V. Once I'm done with that, I'm using this eyeshadow uh, primer again, and this one's from NYX, and it's in the color Skin, and it's going to work perfectly when applied with a synthetic flat concealer brush. This you want to take your time with because you're kind of mapping out the shape of the crease that you want. You can either follow your natural crease line or you can create your own depending on the illusion that you want to give. But just apply a very thin layer. This is just mostly for the cleanup of the edge. I found this really awesome eye glaze from Girlactic and it's like really really powerful it adheres to the skin wonderfully and it does not budge whatsoever and I'm going to take a painting brush that's really small so I can precisely apply this right on this area of my eye and then this is liquid sugar I think this is like candy oh, I forgot guys quite honestly the name of this brand but they make these beautiful glitter shadows for the eye and this is a gorgeous color so I'm just going to use this glitter. You can use any glitter that you want. This is a little bit more bronzy rather than gold. Let me start by applying it to the eyelid and you want to take your time with this because if you rush it then you're going to get glitter above the cut crease or you're going to get glitter everywhere and this is just a very detailed look. After that, I'm using a black liquid eyeliner, and this is from The Balm, and I like this one because the tip is really flexible, and at first, I am going to use the tape as a guideline for the edge, but then I removed the tape, and it didn't really leave me a very clean edge because I was kind of premature with the removal of the tape, so just make sure you let it dry. If not, it's going to bleed, and you're going to have to clean it up, like me. This is like a really beautiful black eyeliner and then it's a dual ended so it has like a skin tone eyeliner if you want to open up your eyes. I'm going to take a little bit of that dark brown and start to smoke out that eyeliner. And then I'm going to pop on these Ardell 203 lashes. And then last but not least for the eyes, I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and a matte vanilla highlight and apply that right beneath the highest peak of my eyebrow to complete the look. I chose to go with matte because a shimmery highlight I feel like would be way too much since I have all this glitter on my eyes. You don't want to get too crazy. Or maybe you do. Alright, so if you guys got my BeautyCon box, then you guys got the micellar um, Garnier cleansing water and this is specifically what I like to use the cleansing water for. And then I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. I am so obsessed with this facial moisturizer. It's honestly one of my top two. I actually only have two favorites currently and this is definitely one of them and it's just rich, it's creamy, it's cooling, and it's hydrating and it's just 
really a quite amazing formula for a facial cream. For the lips, I have to moisturize my lips as well. So I'm going to take this little tiny pot of lip balm from Josie Maron and I got it at I think yeah Sephora and honestly that's one of my favorite lines of skincare and cosmetics as well I absolutely love her stuff because it's good for the skin as well so I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the lips and then I'm gonna move on with the benefit that gal it's a brightening face primer it's pink and it helps brighten up the center of my face evening out um, the skin surface as well love 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 this foundation i use it on a daily basis and even for a night look you get beautiful coverage without feeling too heavy it's from too faced it's called born this way it's all about just you know your skin but better it's basically what it's all about it doesn't feel heavy and i'm gonna buff it in with this synthetic pure cosmetics brush And then I discovered this little gem in my makeup counter. So big shout out to Maybelline for hooking me up. This one is the Master Contour and it's so creamy. And honestly, I am obsessed with this thing as well. So it's dual. You can see that it has a side to brighten up the face. So I'm not gonna use any concealer. And you guys already know how to highlight and contour, I'm sure. So you can see me do this and then you flip it to the other side and you can contour and it's just the creamiest easy to blend product and i absolutely love it and then i am going to set it with my kat von d locket setting translucent powder finely milled um, presses onto the face and yeah so the rest of my face is going to set it with my pure cosmetic setting powder this is amazing it's actually foundation powder I'm just going to apply that to the rest of my face I am so happy that you guys are very happy <laughs> with the BeautyCon collaboration that I did. I love that you guys really enjoy all of the products that I picked out. The Chocolate Soleil Matte and Deep Matte Bronzer is um, also included, so that's why I'm using it so you guys can see it in action. But I've used it before. This is one of my favorites. It's not the first time. And then the Artist Couture Illuminati Highlighter is also included in my BeautyCon box. And if you guys want to know how to sign up, I'm going to leave a link down below. You guys can still get it. It's Guys, it's like more than $140 worth of products in the box for $29 a box. And you get four of them a year, which is such a freaking awesome deal. Or you can get them all for $99 if you sign up for the membership. So that's a really good deal because a lot of this stuff is like full size um, and like really good. So... I was really happy with that collaboration. So this is one of my first collabs. So, yeah. And then this little product here from Ciate London called the Magic Pout Potion. It's actually pretty amazing as well. So it's a primer for your lips before you do any kind of dramatic lip color. So I'm using this color from Tarte. It's called squad i believe and it's just a red so you can look for a deep red color for this look and then oh my gosh i'm obsessed with this lip color from nars such a beautiful formula and it's really pigmented i didn't even fill in my lips and look how glossy and beautiful this lip color is so i'm going to finish off the look using the mary Kay setting spray and this is going to just lock it in place for the whole night Here we have the final look guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you did i would really appreciate it if you thumbs it up and if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more you can subscribe to my youtube channel i'm really excited about that so i will have more videos coming up for you guys 
Um, and yeah, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed, and wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys either on the vlog channel, if you guys want to see, because I just uploaded um, a video with my husband. If you guys are interested, we talk about like the story on how we met, and we also give marriage advice. And we will be doing a uh, husband and wife Q&A. So you guys have to submit your questions, and uh, we will make sure to answer and give you guys our best. Um, advice. So have a wonderful weekend or day ahead actually. Today's Monday and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.